Good to see you. Pete Reyes. Yep, Pete Reyes. Uh, Ford, you were the designer on that F-150, is yeah. that right? Chief nice. engineer. Chief engineer. The, the designer actually shaped it and made it beautiful, and that's a different fellow. And then you have to mess up. You mess up his design by actually making it real, yeah, right? actually applying feasibility. <laughs> I understand, so. understand how it works. Let me uh, get your mic turned up there. Uh, we were just, uh, I was talking to, to Auto Week, Rory from Auto Week, about uh, the F-150. Obviously, this is this is a, uh, a reveal yesterday that probably made as big a splash as anything that happened around here. I'm going to poke this up right here. So we're taking a look at uh, at this that truck you built right here. All right. So so tell me about why you take a risk on the most popular vehicle sold on the planet Earth and change it the way you did. You know, uh, the, the viewpoint of the team was doing nothing uh, or not doing enough is a bigger risk. The, this is the truck that built America. Uh, Americans love full-size pickup trucks. They love three across seating. This is the right size for the truck. Mm -hmm. But they also like fuel efficiency and something that's good for the planet. And the idea of lightweighting this and keeping it just as tough uh, gave us capability, toughness, and efficiency. And we said, hey, this is the and solution for the customer. This is, the, this is gonna change um, this industry and this is a new proposition for our customer and we're really excited about it. It, it delivers both size, capability, and efficiency. Now, Pete, I'm, I'm going to guess at some point in the process, a few years ago when you were in the, in the midst of designing this truck, either you or somebody who works with you came in and said, let's try aluminum. Yeah. What was the first re response? Well, funny, I was put on this program a year before you would typically kick off a program and I was told, uh, we've got an idea to use aluminum alloys. And I immediately went over to the research group which was doing this, and that was exactly my reaction. Mm -hmm. Wow, aluminum, that's really radical. I know you can do it in heavy trucks, and I know they do it somewhere else, but we're talking high volume. And the most comforting thing was, I went to a research group, and these guys had been doing aluminum for 20 years. Our research group has assisted Aston Martin, uh, we're a key behind Jaguar, some Land Rover work, and they basically said from first meeting, Pete, we absolutely know how to do this. We know how to do this. It's just, we got to have the will to do this. And I said, okay, take me through it. When we're talking aluminum also, uh, you know, people think of, you know, you, you get the inevitable uh, column, I'm sure they're going to say it's like a tin can was what people think about, but this is really high grade, like aircraft aluminum. This is the stuff that they've been putting on airplanes for years. Yeah, it's, it's been in the military, it's been on aircraft. I would say go around, thunk the body panels. Uh, this is uh, legitimately strong alloys. And some of the alloys we heat treat after you form the parts and they come out with stronger uh, strengths than the steels we use today. Now what I like is, uh, is I've got the F-150, it's about 12 years old and I've got like 110,000 yeah. miles on it and the rocker panels are all rusted out. Yeah. Uh, it just seems to me with aluminum that maybe that's not going to be an issue. Yeah, that won't be an issue. Aluminum, one of the beautiful things is it doesn't have red rust, it doesn't corrode through. It, you know, uh, aluminum will last forever and when the truck is finally exhausted, it's uh, infinite re infinitely recyclable. You can take all of that aluminum and you can drop it right back into an ingot and it goes right back into the next the next purpose. Look, I don't want to spend the entire time talking about the aluminum, although that is a feature that will be discussed uh, ad nauseum for years. Absolutely. Uh, but, but what about the rest of the truck? Uh, sell me on the features of this truck that are something that we have not seen and maybe some improvements on things we have seen. Yeah, so the wonderful thing about this truck is it is all new. And when it's all new, you get a chance to put in some features that are very difficult if you're not touching some of the panels. So first and foremost, uh, we're really excited that we've got cameras all the way around the vehicle. Mm -hmm. You've got optional 360 degree cameras. Customers love it as a convenience, particularly truck customers. They want to know where their truck is. Trucks are often not on a road and not, uh, not on a clearly defined well, I'm just cab. like backing up trying to pick up a trailer for my boat or something yeah. like that. Hey, uh, the trailer features are fantastic. We've got uh, you know a trailer assist for backing up so you can line your, uh, it, it's a dynamic line that lines you right up to the trailer ball. But maybe more important for trailering is smart trailer tow. Our trailer tow module uh, can check and tell you uh, the state of your brake lights, your running lights, battery charge, everything if your trailer's good to go without somebody having to go around and check all of those lights. And it shows you with an icon which light is out. It just doesn't say light out, it shows you with a picture one, of the trailer's yeah. light out. Um, that's another terrific feature. Um, you know, uh, front end uh, radars that give you adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation warning, radars at the back of the truck for blind spot, cross traffic alert. These are things that when you get a chance to do a new truck, 
uh, you, you have to integrate into the design. Mm -hmm. uh, there's 11 class exclusive features. One of the things structures love is 400 watt power inverter. Mm -hmm. uh, typical so you can to run the industry. saws and things yeah. like that. Typical to the industry. You can run bigger tools. I'm not sure that all the saws work. <laughs> uh, but typical to the industry is 150 watts. And right. our customers say we want more. And then when you see how big this inverter is, you go, yeah, I, you, you do place this in a cab when you redesign the whole cab. Otherwise, it's in the middle of a floor that you're kicking. And uh, you've traded one benefit for another. So a lot of class exclusive features, purpose built, uh, for a trucker. Last one I'll mention is spotlights. You know, mm -hmm. someone came to us and said, we'd love it if, like police cars, we could have a spotlight that looked out the side of the vehicle. Right, right. And we said, well, uh, putting a light on a pillar is inefficient and probably illegal, but we came up with lights in the mirror. And with a switch, you can hit and light up either side of your vehicle. Mm -hmm. So working at night, which truckers do, camping, all of that stuff, another example of a convenience that we've integrated, not only into the mirrors, but all the electronics in the vehicle and buttons right there at the command seating in this vehicle. We're talking to Pete Reyes right now, the uh, the, the guy who built the F-150 that's getting all the buzz here. Uh, how does that make you feel when, when, when that product is finally revealed out there? This has been your life for how many years? You know, the first feeling is it's exciting, but it's relief. Mm -hmm. uh, we take so much care to make sure that all of our prototypes are camouflaged and images right, right. don't get out. And I know that my test engineers have been waiting for this day for a long time. So, so they, they can, can just show they it. Can take all that camo that's flapping and blowing and all that, those extra security precautions. They don't have to have two people in the vehicle when they go uh, get gasoline at a gas station when it stays inside and makes it lock. So I, I, I'm proud and for my engineers, uh, it's, it's, it's wonderful that the world has seen it and they, and they can continue testing. And now it's up to the marketing guys to sell it, right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, well, thank you very much, Pete Reyes. Steve, the, thank the, you very much. The guy who designed that F-150 that is thank, getting so much thank you very work. Much. I'm okay. gonna take this microphone off yep. you so you don't strangle yourself when you get up. Where was I supposed to look? I oh, you were, where to look. you were fine. You see, we got the, we got the okay. camera there and you can look at me, you can look at it, you can look, you, it doesn't matter, we okay. don't care. Steve, thank you. Pete, I do appreciate it. Hey, you helped Thank you very lot. much. Yep. Thank you.